Hey guys, so I'm just gonna take a time to show you a quick clip. Um, I know that a lot of people have beautiful orchids in their home. And some people may wonder, how can I breed my orchids, you know? Is it possible to get seeds from your orchid plant? It actually is, it's quite possible. I did a bit of research myself and I found out how to do it. And that's just what I'm gonna show you today. When it comes to breeding orchids, of course you need to wait till your plant has produced flowers. So what's really essential and what will get you the best success is if you have two separate plants. It's pretty much essential that you need to have two different plants to cross-pollinate the orchids. So firstly, now that you have your two plants selected, you're going to need to choose one healthy flower on each plant. Usually you want to choose a flower that is just opened and that is open completely and is healthy and fresh. That way it'll be more long-lived. So usually when I cross-pollinate, I'll take the pollen from one flower that I selected, put it in the other, and then vice versa. So here we have our flower. We're looking for sexual organs. So here, we're going to find the male organs hidden under here. We have two balls of pollen that are hidden under this part. And here we have a small hollow circular cavity in there where the female parts are and it's very sticky in there so that pollen can get stuck in so the first thing you want to do is get a toothpick or because I've done this a few times you just want to take this flap and gently lift it off just like that and now that that's on my nail there we go we have two walls of pollen so you take this this right here, you take this, and now we're going to bring this to this flower. We're going to choose a flower. Right here, right here we have the pollen. And you're going to come to the plant, gently move the flower back. Try to, if you can, uncover the pollen like that. There's that little cap. Can you focus there? There's that little white cap. You can make it fall off and then you just have the pollen exposed and it sticks to you. Okay, so ideally you want to do this with a toothpick, not your hand, because then you're less in the way of the flower. Not gonna lie, I've dropped this pollen like four times already. So, here it goes. I'm just trying not to get in the way of the camera shot. See the hole there? Just gonna put that there, and there you go, that's it. That's all you have to do, you just have to make sure the pollen is in that circle. The following day, the circle you're gonna see has closed off and surrounded the pollen, and in no time you will see this part of the stem behind the flower starts to swell, and eventually the seeds will mature and ripen in the ovaries, and there you go, you'll have some orchid flowers, or orchid plant seeds. So from there, you just do what you need to do, sow them, grow them in a humid climate, and you'll have little baby orchid plants.